So I need to custom make a vent. Um, this is actually a 12 by 6 vent. The vent I need is a 14 by 6, which this has a 6 inch opening. I did find a 14 by 6 and had to special order it, but it had an 8 inch opening and there's no way I could have got an elbow on that without hitting the foundation. So I'm going to turn this 12 by 6 into a 14 by 6. So I've already kind of started and cut the edge of this. My first idea was I was just going to get a piece of flat metal and then make a template out of cardboard and uh, rivet that on. And then I thought to myself, well, for about the same price, I could just go out and buy a whole nother vent. So I'm going to cut this off a little bit extra and cut this around and Siamese one of these ends on here over the other one so it extends out two more inches. This way I can get a proper size uh, for the uh, vent that fits in the floor, which actually has to fit inside of this. So I'm going to turn that 12 by 6 into a 14 by 6. No critical measurements. I just pencil this out freehand with a sharpie. I'm just going to cut it along here and cut it like that. This is why I've got the right size, the right spacing. This is going to make it pretty easy. You know, this would have cost me, or a flat sheet would have cost me just about as much as this whole piece here. A little chop shop action on that vent back there yields me this. So right here at this fold, I'm going to take this and then bend this down and this side down and create a notch so that this bends down. So the idea is I'm just going to get it on like so and then rivet it all together and then then I'll have my 14 by 6 vent with the 6 inch opening that I can't buy anywhere else so I've got to make it. Just started doing a little bending with some pliers. Bent this piece back. These ones kind of inward so that this is just the Siamese on here. I'll make a slit here I'm gonna make a slit here so that these can fold down almost like a like a present. I had to cut these crow's feet so that they'll fit together like that and just rivet everything together. And if anything is still you know hole there or a little leaky, I'll just put some tape over it. Um, but before I put it together, I'm gonna take it over to the vent and just make sure it's properly sized so that it's not too big or too small and that the actual vent I have will fit inside of this so I don't rivet it together and then realize, oh great, I didn't check that and I wrecked it. Put a couple more relief cuts in the, in the uh, steel here so it'll go on a little easier. Just going to use my drill, pre-drill some eighth inch holes and then use my little rivet gun. I've got a box of assorted rivets and just rivet this all together. Kind of looks kind of junky now but hopefully it's going to turn out and look good. So after about a dozen rivets or so, it's on there now doesn't really feel like my cleanest of jobs but you know whatever it'll fit so now we've got a 14 by 6 you know what I think I'll put a couple pieces on these seams what the hell we got plenty of tape this thing's gonna be so uh, tightened up it'd probably hold water We're not going to go that far, but then again, air is like water. Don't come out of any crack. There. So we should be sealed. Doesn't even rattle anymore. All that tape on there. But we're sealed, riveted together. This is not going to fall apart. And uh, I've got the right dimension now. So now that vent register boot is mounted into the floor, which took a little bit of elbow grease. The floor is three quarter, then there's a half inch cement board, and also the tile on top of that, too, as well. So I had to do a little bit of filing just to 
even some of it out to get it in. I also used an extra layer of tape here along the edge. That uh, foil tape I got from Home Depot with the mastic on the back, when I press it up to this edge of the tile, it, uh, it seals right to the tile itself. I mean, this is such a great seal, I'm pretty surprised because we're over a crawl here, so sometimes, you know, we've had ants coming up or spiders and whatnot, and this is pretty much going to keep them at least coming from coming through, you know, in this area here. Uh, this side here is just grout, but the tape actually stuck to that too, so I couldn't believe it. So it's pretty well sealed. Um, I've just got to get the tube now from down through here connected back, which is about six feet back. Um, the the eight inch one that I originally ordered, you could just look down, you could see that where the foundation is right there, it was just too wide. There's no way that I would have been able to fit any kind of elbow on there. So that's why we had to do this bracketry, uh, hacketry with the 12 by six to get it to be this size. So vent is now in and also I had to wait on doing this in the first place because the gas pipe which goes out to my furnace in the garage, it originally ran right up the center of this vent. You'd pull the vent up off the floor and just about three or four inches down, whoop, there it was right through the center. So how could I put a boot in here when there'd be a gas pipe right in the middle? So that's why the gas pipe got rerun, the home run. It's running now about here on the floor and uh, I've got it so it comes up with an elbow and goes up about six inches and then penetrates through this wall here. Uh, the original idiots, who I say yes, idiots, who originally ran the gas pipe straight through here, bent it, tried to kind of bend it up at an angle, and they also severely chopped the floor joists out pretty badly, which I'm going to have to go down into the crawl space and sister those to fix those up, because they turned my 2x8s roughly into about 2x4s in some spots, and they also tried in a second spot, which they couldn't get through, so I'm going to, so it's actually double the work down there. Um, now that this is in, I'm pretty happy about that. Get the cover on here. So this is why I went through the trouble of doing this, because this cover here is a 14 by 6. It's a very heavy duty metal. I could probably stand right in the middle of this, um, although I wouldn't want to, but a lot of the ones I see at the store, they're just that cheap kind of flimsy metal. If you even stood on like a store-bought one, you'd go right through it. So that's why I wanted to keep this vent here. Uh, this probably could have been, you know, sized down to a 12 by 6 and put in that 12 by 6 register boot really easy, but then I'd be reworking the tile on the floor and eh, I don't really want to get into that. Let's just leave this here. Um, the vent here used to be brown. I shot it with a quick spray of uh, Krylon rattle can on, what is that, um, um, nickel, satin nickel, that's the color. So the satin nickel, because of these chairs or these bar stools I bought at Crate and Barrel, kind of have the black and silver theme going on with it, and that's the closest color I could find in the rattle can, you know, spray paint at the store. So this uh, little table right here, which holds up my beer fridge, this is from Walmart, it's about 10 bucks. This is an all black table, so I shot these legs with that rattle can sil or the rattle can uh, satin nickel as well. So if I back up, you can kind of see I, you know, I'm trying to play interior decorator here to get everything to tie in. So, you know, I have the satin nickel on the legs, and you know, that's the original color that came on the bar stools. And, got that vent that same color too because when it was brown it really looks stupid so this is in now gas pipe got moved before this so we could do this and then I'm just gonna connect this to the run underneath and this way I'll have a connected duct this way it's not trying to use the crawl space as one big giant plenum <laughs> 